it's the Republicans' fault that we're not getting a new child tax credit. They just sank that bill. I'm sure you've been hearing that a lot on the internet recently, and it's partially true, but it's not exactly what you think. So before I sort out the facts, I want to thank my subscribers who overwhelmingly voted for me to clarify what's going on with all of this. So if you want to vote to make sure you subscribe to my page during my next live event, or you can follow these steps and you can subscribe right now. Okay, here are the facts. Fact, there was a bipartisan $78 billion tax bill that failed in the United States Senate last week. Democrats and Republicans had been working on this bill for at least a year. Fact, that bill overwhelmingly passed the House back in February, as I told you in this video, with more Democrat votes than Republican votes, but still a lot of Republicans in the House voted yes on it. Fact, after months of wrangling, that bill finally came up for a vote in the Senate on August 1st. And fact, it was Republicans who overwhelmingly shot this bill down. The final vote was 48 to 44 with eight senators not voting. The bill failed to reach the 60 vote Senate threshold to move forward. Almost all of the yes votes came from Democrats and independents. Three came from Republicans. Almost all of the no votes came from Republicans except for two no votes, which came from independents. Senator Schumer, a Democrat, voted no on the bill for procedural reasons so this bill could be taken up again at a later date. But here's the context to those facts that a lot of people on the internet are missing. While this tax bill did include an updated child tax credit, it did not include the type of child tax credit you're thinking of. There was no monthly child tax credit provision included in this bill. As long as this Congress is in session, that will not be coming back. The child tax credit that was included in this bill gave qualified parents an inflation adjustment on their child tax credit of about a hundred bucks on top of the $2,000 credit that's applied to their tax bill at the end of the year. The bill also would have helped lower income families qualify for this child tax credit and eventually it would have become fully refundable for them. The tax bill would have also retroactively reinstated several business tax changes that were included in the Republicans 2017 tax law that has expired. The Republicans who voted no on this bill last week said they were against it because it was inadequately funded, Republicans weren't properly consulted, and they said the child tax credit expansion amounted to a subsidy that they could not support. Plus, the Republicans who were against this particular bill said if or when former President Trump becomes president again, they will revamp the whole tax system in a new tax bill next year.